on each track there's an input and output. So the first thing we're going to look at is the channel strip. The channel strip, there's, a, there's an input and output logo, which is the I-O, the I slash O. The first part is going to be the input, and the second part is going to be the output. If I go to a software instrument, my input is going to be whatever sound module that I'm using. So if I want to change my sound module, I just go to the input, I can go to maybe this electric piano sound module. What happens, it'll switch the, the actual sound module, but it's going to keep the settings within there. So it's going to have a different sound, but the setting, but all the effects that were on it, as far as the compression, the EQ, and the space designer, and the limiter, are all going to be transferred onto that new sound for whatever sound that I choose. Now, the inputs and outputs are very important for recording and things like that. If you're recording live audio and things like that, you're it's very important that you put your, your input to whatever your mic's coming into your audio interface. And your output is going out to one and two.